If you love being on or near the water, Mandurah is such an easy destination. Surfing, crabbing, fishing, just general relaxing, it really is the place to be. And it comes as no surprise that this place is home to one of the most significant wetlands in the state. And there are so many ways to explore it. If you don't have your own boat, you can always hire one. Not keen on the water? Take heart. Some of the best sites are equally as accessible from the land. In fact, kilometres of walking trails have been constructed through the wetlands. And if you time it right, you might just come across resident ornithologist Bill Rutherford, who's always keen to have a yarn about this diverse ecosystem, which covers an area five times the size of Sydney Harbour and is at the heart of the Mandra experience. So why is this area so important and who is it important to? It's not only the locals, Chrissy, that it's important to us. But it's also really special on the international level because of the wildlife that use it and certain other issues as well. And it's those issues that come together that have made it a Ramsar site. What does Ramsar mean? Ramsar is a piece of international legislation that's accepted as being the best wetlands around the, around the world. The ecological characteristics of it, primarily the numbers of birds that come here, but also the social and the economic and cultural aspects of the place. From living fossils like thrombolites to wildlife, there is a lot to take in. And if walking isn't your thing either, you're in luck. Because according to Bill, the best views require very little physical effort to enjoy. There are several of these hides scattered around the wetlands. They're free to use. All you need to bring is your binoculars. Bill, I've been down here crabbing for years. I've never once noticed this building. Yeah, it's a terrific facility for us. It's been here about five years now, Chrissy. Uh, it was put here by the city of Mandurah specifically for bird watching because this is one of the hot spots on the Peel Yalgara. It's really well set up. You guys must be very pleased. We like it here. We like it that much. We use it as a temporary hotel to overnight in. <laughs> whilst we're carrying out our research on the migratory shorebirds. Bird watching at night? No, we actually catch birds and tag them with unique leg flags. And I like these little things you've got down here, the boards. Yeah, these uh, show us some of the birds that turn up here. These ones along the bottom, the great knot and sharp-tailed sandpiper are some of the migratory birds that come here from the Arctic. So during our research down here, we caught one bird one night, one of these red knots and that bird was seen three times in the Yellow Sea in China in subsequent years. And it goes to tell us how we are connected with other people in the world. And certainly those people have found an interest in Mandra now and coming down to look at the Ramsar site. So not just dolphins and crabs attracting visitors to Mandra, hang out with the locals and you'll find all sorts of reasons that people come down here and spend some time. In fact, if you want to find out some of that information that Bill and his team have collated, all you need to do is jump on to environment.gov.au. And if you'd like to follow one of these walking trails and see all the beautiful birds, then you can pop into the local visitor centre or just jump online.